she still uses a house phone. When she calls me, she wraps the cord around her fingers as she talks. She says she likes to feel her voice as it runs away from her. She uh. says if she wants to believe distance is just a myth our minds create. When she held me, I was the last box on the movie. I was stretched out like piano wire, waiting for a hammer to knock the breath back into me. Her hands forced me upward like keys pounding harmony. She was the hottest day of summer, telling me to wake up and find water if the bed was a rose. Our clothes scattered mosaic across the carpet. We read to each other from the bookshelf in the corner. The one that sagged in the middle until all its shelves were smiling, ready to laugh loose their stories. One after Come on. Week, someone left a busted piano behind our house. So we gathered everything we didn't need anymore and dropped it from our bedroom window, trying to hit the keys that still worked. Marveling at how we make the music bounce back to us from that distance. The morning she left, the half closed shades left cords of sunlight stretching across her chest. And I traced them, but they were highways and she, the smallest country. She calls me. She traces her breath as it spirals to the wall and bounces between time zones. Her voice is strangled by 3,000 miles of telephone lines. The clothes we dressed our floor in for months have been stripped away. The room is naked now. The bookshelf half empty. When I think of that house, she is the only thing I can remember. Everything else fades. The room disappears entirely. I remember only having lived inside her. Oh. The first astronomers looked up. They had to invent new words for how far apart two things can be. Oh. Telescopes to force everything closer. I've built myself a telescope out of bedposts and bathroom mirrors on one nights. I climb to the top of my roof and look west, but the world curves are away from me. I know now why the myth of a flat earth existed for so long. It is not a story of people afraid of falling, but of people terrified of growing apart. Dreaming that if you stare hard enough at the horizon, you will be able to find anyone who has left you. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Listen, she says. The blind man on my block had his cataracts removed. He told me when he looked out his window for the first time, he couldn't understand why his hand was larger than the houses across the road. He couldn't grasp how things look smaller at a distance, so close your eyes. Stop looking for me in satellites fading below the skyline. Let us make this world flat again. This cottage is just our kitchen table. These highways, piano strings, the same note ringing between us.